Hi Crypto Kings and Queens, welcome to my channel. My name is Natalie. On this chart today, we see that Bitcoin is pulling to the upside and this is exactly what we're waiting or expected the market to do. I still have the key levels. We are right now breaking key level 19,470, but the market is right now creating a high high and I never buy the market at the high high. I do expect the market to pull back down to the other key level 19,270 at the moment, pull back down to this level and that's where I potentially can buy the market from. I will show you exactly what I see on Bitcoin and I will also show you exactly what I see on Ethereum right now because Ethereum is breaking to the upside too. Don't forget I'm no financial advisor you need to look up everything yourself first but please continue looking at this video and I'll show you exactly what I see on Bitcoin and Ethereum this Monday. Have a good day. Let's continue. So let's just go straight to the daily chart on Bitcoin. It doesn't look so good right now because I have so many things on the charts. But as you can see, we did close with the doji yesterday and we also closed above key level 19,040, also key level 19,070. The market closed with one, two dojis two days in a row and now we can see that the market is pushing to the upside and we i actually did expect the market to do this i i wasn't able to take a trade on this one because i'm waiting for the market still to pull back down okay, so what we can identify is that we're actually now breaking the resistance trend line another thing that we can do is that we're changing the resistance now because we did have another lower high that got created a couple of days ago was it yesterday uh, yesterday at the key level uh, 19,470 market pull back down we closed again against exactly the other key level that I did have at 19,070 we can also see that the market is maintaining the higher lows and now we see the market having this huge break of this resistance trend line and we're also retesting at the moment we are retesting the previous high that we did try to break um, so this is actually something that is really good. So what we can do in case we see that the market pulls back down now, because I do expect the market or I'm waiting for the market to pull back down a little bit after we've been breaking this resistance trend line. Uh, we're dragging a Fibonacci from key level 19,070 back up to next key level at 19,470, which also now we can definitely see the market continuing to pull back to the upside, but this is still not a level where I would want to buy the market at all even if we see the market push even more i'm still waiting for the market to give me the pullback but based on this break of the the structure and also giving us the the doji can you see how the 50 percent uh, is exactly combined now with uh 19,270 key level so i do expect the market or i'm waiting for the market right now to pull back down to this level and potentially the 61.8 percent at 19,222 for the market then to reverse and this is where i will expect the uh, where I this is where I will buy the market from so what I'm going to do is that I will add a alert now so if the market decides to pull back down I'm going to go into the charts and look for a buy position we're retesting key level 19,470 so as I told you uh, on yesterday's live stream uh, or sorry yesterday's video if we see the market pull back down, uh, pull back up now as I do expect it to do, I'm still looking at 20,270 and 20,610. And this is where I do expect the market to reverse back down. But as we, we spoke about, we just might need to see the market giving us a bigger pullback to the upside. And this can definitely be a beginning of it. And if that is the case, what will we have? It, will, it looks better on the on the 12 hourly chart. But if we see that the market pulls back up to these levels, we do also have the head and shoulder formation, a very ugly one, but this is something, this is a bullet, a bearish reversal pattern. The market is right now creating its lower low and uh, also at a support because overall, technically the market is in a sideways market. So the market pulled back, pulled back down to the, to the support again. And this is where I do expect, and it looks like we can have a bigger uh, pullback to the upside. But uh, if we don't see that the market is uh, having the power to reach these Fibonacci levels another thing that we can do is that we're dragging a Fibonacci from this last high that we did have from 19,925 
time back down to the support at 19,075 and you can see that we are retesting this level right now so this is also something that we need or I need to have in mind if we only see a fake out from this resistance and the Fibonacci levels is between 19,500 and 19,602 um, so so many things on the charts right now this is why I don't like to have the key levels but these are really good we are we just might see the market retest this level now but the most important thing is if we see the market pull back down again to 19,270 we will see the market if the market respect these levels you'll see how the market slowly and steady prepare itself to push to the upside again if we have big bearish candlestick looking something like this this will probably not be valid so everything depends on how the candlestick uh, how much volume the candlestick is actually having against the level so right now as I said it's just a waiting game for me but we are definitely definitely looking at a a potential bigger pullback so just have these I would just suggest to have these levels in mind at least and but the key levels as I said the key level is gonna be so interesting to see this week this week and see how the market is actually behaving around it. and you can already see how perfectly the market is retesting 19,470 just by understanding all of these different technical tools that we can have you, everything makes sense where when we're looking at charts and see where the, the market does retest, et cetera, et cetera. Same thing on Ethereum. Remember yesterday when I spoke about the support trend line, we came exactly down, retested it so perfectly. And then you saw this huge bounce now to the upside. Like this is, it is amazing every time to see how the market is actually um, behaving around these levels that, that, I, that we look at. But we're right now retesting the trend line one more time, the resistance trend line. We still need to follow the rules and and this is how this trend line is supposed to be uh, drawn and go back to the lower time frames now we can also see yeah so the market is in a sideways market it's a really ugly market right here I can't use anything more as a technical tool uh, than the support trend line that we did retest and right now it's the same thing on on ethereum I just wait for the market to pull back down potentially so what we can do on the 15 minutes chart if we see the market giving us a pullback um, if you don't see the market continuing to the upside right now so we drag a Fibonacci from 1050 back up to 1073 and what we're looking at we just might not see the market pull back down this far uh, but I don't have anything else to to use at the moment but if we see a pullback uh, we can come back down to $1,060 or $1,058 for the market to uh, pull back up but as I said I'm a little bit doubtful that the market will actually pull back down to it um, but we just have to wait and see what I do expect the market to do is at least try to break this resistance trend line and then see the market giving us because that's technically what I wait for the market to do because this resistance trend line that we're looking at on Ethereum is really important. So if we see a break of it, we see potential retest, that could be the beginning of us pulling back up to, key, uh, to Fibonacci levels, 1140, potentially 1170. And you already know this is where I do expect the, uh, the uh, Ethereum break to the downside again. But we're not at these levels at the moment, so we need to focus on what's happening in real time. And and right now we're just waiting for our Ethereum to create a higher low somewhere and potentially that will be the beginning of us breaking the resistance trend line and slowly and steady continue to the upside. I will also calculate and give everyone or myself key levels on Ethereum too. I only had it right now on Bitcoin but the key levels is definitely something that is very important to use. Don't forget that you can also receive the bonus on Bybit up to $4,450 by using the link in the description down below the video. You also have it here in the corner. And remember the trade that I did have on Ethereum, I actually closed it yesterday because I saw the market pulling back up. I'm not in a buy position at all at the moment. I'm waiting for the market to pull back down, but that you already know. And then I expect to sell Ethereum and Bitcoin again from a better price. But claim this bonus, you have the link in the description down below the video and here in the corner.
Thank you so much guys for looking at this video together with me. It is only Monday, so have some patience and trust me, the market will come to the levels that I look for. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification so you know when I am live or when I do have these type of daily updates. Comment below what do you think will happen this week on the coins. Have a great day everyone and we'll see each other later. Okay, not for Sweden.